on, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh, just let me out. We're going to show you about this toddy woman. I no longer believe she just got slighted. I think she deliberately and willfully lied and exaggerated to destroy somebody's career. And I think Willie Mack proved it. I think there's enough circumstantial evidence to prove without a shadow of a doubt. This is about money. This is about money. This is about money. There is zero evidence that this guy qualifies as a predator. The punishment does not fit the crime because it's a lie. It's a lie. It's not true. It's not true. If you, as a commentator, call this guy a sexual predator in any context, you're a liar or you're misinformed and you owe this guy an apology, or at very least, you should go back and look at this woman Westbrook. The real crime here, and James Charles said he couldn't promote it. The reason that James always said that he couldn't promote Halo on his channel and really do like, you know, heavy endorsement was because he has a teenage audience and it would just be inappropriate. James Charles, however, did promote a vitamin. Yeah, what happened to no means no, bitch. <laughs> it just wasn't Toddy's. It was her competitors. I also want to give a quick shout out to Sugar Bear Hair. I met their team weekend one at Coachella and they really helped me and my friends out with sister security because it was crazy. Um, you guys probably already know about their iconic hair. And I'm not going to say this is not a dick move because it is. If they had some kind of agreement, this is a dick move. For sure. For sure. Dick move at most. Yeah, it's a dick move. This is a dick move. All, Maybe he's he's should also, lose. You know, if you made the argument that he should lose all these subs and be punished like this because he made a dick move, uh, this show doesn't happen. If you sprinkle and put a little sweetening in that tea and say, Chex Predator, fuck you in the face. I feel really used. Yes, her crying over a vitamin ad was the straw that broke the camel's back to all this drama, which seems... Really petty and kind of... Does anybody seriously believe this would have come out either way? I mean, I can't prove that because I can't read her mind. No. Like, you can read I'm fucking Charles, James Charles' mind, no. apparently. Does anybody no, seriously no, believe he, we'd be hearing no, this? He, no, he promoted, the, he promoted the competitor. She got salty. She's like, It's right, that fuck fucking you. simple. It's that simple. And if she would have just cut the video on this guy backstabbed me, we ain't here. James Charles to took part, this yeah. video very seriously. He deleted the ad and posted an apology on Instagram. I want yeah. to publicly apologize Thanks. to my close friend, Tati. She has been like a mother to me since my first days in this- By the way, this was posted prior to things blowing up. So this was not a so damage control apologize. post. He was responding to her crying, but he got this out there. Now that seems like a pretty respectful and thoughtful response. He took down the ad, he promoted your vitamins, but apparently that's not good enough for Toddy. But then you go and post an apology and you can't even mention my brand name. <laughs> you I swear to God, I'll give somebody a right hook if they say it's not about money. I'm going to go to a bar tonight. And if somebody says that to me, I'm going to fucking hook him in the jaw. If you didn't need anything more clear, right? I haven't been this pissed off since the end of Baited. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck, bro? It's not a good enough apology because he said Toddy's vitamins and not her brand name Halo? That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. And I've looked into Toddy's vitamins. They're beauty vitamins while James promoted sleeping vitamins. And new vegan sleep vitamins. How are these competing products? Why are you crying over it? Why is it worth making a 43 minute exposed video? On 43 minutes for this shit. On someone who calls you mom. More who are you, drummer 828? Bitch. From like a parental stance than like a best friend stand. I am there for this kid. You're my family. I love you. Family? Really? Tati, let's be real for a second. It seems like you're trying to end his career. What family? Where did you come to that conclusion, Willie? Throws around a sexual predator accusation without any proof, without looking into the actual story. Because I looked into it and you got it fucking wrong. Oh my god, you tried to trick a straight man into thinking he's gay. That's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. Can't trick somebody into the bed. Get the fuck out of here. You are this using the gay. Me Too movement, cancel culture, and outrage culture to get this motherfucking queer back because he screwed you on a vitamin deal. Who are you kidding? You are using your fame, <laughs> your power, your money to play with people's emotions. You're threatening to ruin them. You're threatening to embarrass them. And you're doing that to have them behave sexually in your favor, even if they're straight. There is absolutely no proof of that. The way None of this has come up. None of you English commentators. None of you. None of you.
have managed to prove the statement she just made. There is not a shred of evidence that that's true. That's a friend. Until Toddy feels comfortable and ready to talk in private, I don't feel comfortable talking about it publicly. She got word he's talking to drama candles, and she fucking fucked him before he could fuck her. Mm-hmm. And it turns mm-hmm. out this fucking predator, this 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 uh, guy who has a straight boy fetish, which by the way, there's nothing wrong with having a fucking straight boy. I I thought we got over this. I thought the homophobia was dead. If you're gay, you're allowed to go out and be gay. And if that includes digging straight guys, as long as you're not doing anything against that's not consensual, then we're good. She panicked. She thought he was going to fuck her. They were never friends. They were just mm-hmm. YouTubers using each other like 90% of the people on this platform. If you sit there, if you say, the only reason I'm not calling him a sex predator because I don't want to get sued, you might as well have said it because that shit ain't going to fly in an American court. That's defamation. You have to get it right. And moving the goalpost and saying, well, in my world, it officially qualifies as being a predator. No. When you say predator, you're suggesting something criminal. And if he can prove damages and his fucking social blade can do it, you could potentially be in a lot of fucking trouble. And I got to be honest with you. I love you to death. If you get sued, it's on you. The only way I'm not going to feel bad for you is you apologize, take those videos down, and correct this shit. Otherwise, you're no better than Keemstar. How many people do you think are actually going to do that? Zero. Why well, guys say, I'm fucking doing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, basically, I, got one, I got a letter from somebody that said, fuck you, I'm doing it. Uncle Eastwood, I hope you're good at this. When, when, you, when, you, were, when you were his age, if you, if you kissed a girl and you asked a girl out for a date, and the next day she told you to go and fuck yourself. Well, uh, can I tell you a story? Fit? Can I tell you a story? I didn't know where I was going just before I joined the army. Things were not going my way. My fucking fiance left me. My fucking I was driving a cab and working at a, at a pub. Things were not going my way, and I was thinking about joining the army. And you know what would have been really nice? Meeting a nice girl that could ride me through this fucking bullshit. This was the breaking point. This is after I joined the army. I meet this girl in a place called O'Halloran's Irish Pub in Fords, New Jersey. She's a beautiful, beautiful Puerto Rican girl. She's an absolute knockout. And man, we are hitting it off. She's even put her hand on my shoulder and shit because she's laughing so hard. I'm in there and I'm attracted. In the middle of the fucking conversation, she goes, oh, by the way, I kind of got to tell you something before this goes somewhere else. I'm gay. <laughs> I was so fucking lonely. I couldn't give up. I couldn't give up. I couldn't give up. I couldn't give up. So I was like, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. But I just kept going and going. We kept drinking, right? We kept drinking and talking and laughing. And I ended up in her fucking bed. It was a wonderful fucking night. And I didn't just want to bang her I wanted her I was fucking lonely man I hadn't been with anybody in months my life was going nowhere I was fucking lonely this beautiful Latina princess in my fucking bed she tells me she gay she's still there's got to be something there there's got to be something more I go to pick her up at work she spoke uh, uh, works at a sports bar to drive her home my fucking cab right and she sits down with me and she tells me she tells me like look you know I like you a lot, and I want to be your friend, but that was a fluke. I'm even seeing another girl, and I hope we can keep it because she cheated on her girlfriend, all right? I'm like, no, you're not fucking gay. You're bisexual. It's okay. I, I can deal with that. Maybe you can even have a girl. I don't care. She's like, no, no, no. Like, come on. You have no idea what I've been through. That wasn't a freak. Come on. Please? No. Acting like a bitch. I'm getting teared up about it right now. Hey, you motherfuckers are calling that guy a predator. Look me in the fucking eye. Am I a fucking sick predator? Am I? Or am I just have a broken heart? Fuck you, commentary community. How dare you ruin these people's lives because of fucking hits in YouTube. How fucking dare you? Because I'm no better than James Charles. And I guess I should lose, every, lose everything for that story. And I didn't cross the line. I cried and fucking whined and tried to talk her out of it. Didn't work. And then I went home and I fucking dealt with it. And if James Charles did that, then he's no better or worse than me.